Uh, Tim. All righty. Welcome back to the Nine Ups comprehensive coverage of Noise Pop ninety nine. Um, we're here with uh, the two of the more the more important members of Jimmy Eat World. Is that correct? It's not Jimmy Eats World, right? I'm the most important. Who is who is? You're the you're the most important. You started the band, actually. Yeah. What, and what's your name? Tom. It's your band. Yeah. Entirely. You you own all rights to it. Everything. Right. He named it. He named it. So. Named it and everything. Where, where did the name come from? Um, it's a story that Jim wrote when he was in second grade. Lie. Is that a lie? I don't want to put any pressure on you guys, but you have five minutes left to produce compelling content. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, and I think this I think this story is this is compelling. So let's get at the root of this. What do you think, Dave? Are you with okay, well, hold on. Wait, I, want, I want to get the score straight, first of all. You're Tom? Yeah. And you are? Rick. My name is Rick. I thought you were Jim. No. Rick's a bass player, right? Bass player? All right. Guitar player. Guitar. All right, let's talk about the name. Lay it on me. Actually, we have some questions for him. Well, should oh, we just okay. head to those right away? Sure. Should yeah. we get some questions from the world? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ever going to release a CD with all your rare seven-inch shit? Um, I think we're probably pretty soon gonna put all of our like old seven inches and stuff on. Uh, is it MP3? Yeah, we're gonna, MP3. Like all. Yeah, we're gonna put our first album. See, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, but. Uh, on MP3. Our drummer knows a lot about it, but we're gonna put yeah. Up there. Cause the, probably our first record and our old seven inches and stuff, and probably this new record. Uh, uh, Why how not? Many, how many records do you guys have? Uh, uh, albums. We have three full lengths, three full length CDs, and one one is out of print, and it's just a, a record that we did when we were in high school, and it's really fast. Mm -hmm. and, together for six months. <laughs> yeah. not, recorded. not counting the soundtrack to Milan, which you guys did as well, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, next, next question, question from I from India. What? Question from the internet. From India. What is that sing-songy thing, uh, song that isn't on the new album? You played it at the uh, last Bottom of the Hill show. Um, The last what show? Bottom of the Hill show. That, that's okay. the club where you are right now. Uh -huh. It's called Bottom of the Hill. You're in San Francisco. <laughs> Where? You're live. We're Go. It's Tuesday. I thought we were in. I thought we were in Baltimore tonight. <laughs> you guys are total oh. rock stars. We gotta go. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, that song is called Sweetness, and we recorded it last week, and we were really not sure what we're gonna do with it. We were gonna. We were thinking about putting it on, on our new record that just came out today, at, on the second pressing, but I don't think we're gonna do that because. There's gonna be there's ten 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 thousand already pressed, and so if we put it on it, like I think the ten thousand people who bought it first will be kind of pissed off. No, no, no way. Then they'll go out and they'll buy another one to try to get it. And we're also thinking about maybe like if they send a postcard or something, we'll just send them the song for free or whatever. I don't know. We're really not. Sure. It's all about it. what do you, <laughs> what do you send it to them like in a mail card and like how do you send them that 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 bonus song? That's a good question. Uh, you know, MP3. <laughs> MP3. Exactly right. <laughs> okay, uh, wh where are you guys from? Phoenix, Arizona. Tempe, Arizona. Huh. So which? Tempe or Phoenix? Tempe. Yeah. I'm from Tempe. Thomas. I actually live in Scottsdale, Scottsdale now. Scottsdale. And uh, the other two guys are from Mesa. We just say Phoenix because it's... Greater Arizona metropolitan yeah, like, area. Yeah. I live two yeah. minutes away from Phoenix. Any so. shows in Chicago coming up? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're uh, playing at the Metro with the Promise Ring. Um, I'm wow. not sure of the exact date. So and we're also playing in Milwaukee the same show. So. Milwaukee, where are you playing <laughs> at Milwaukee? <laughs> shot, <man. laughs> it's a close up. On I'm the not face. sure what we're playing. Are you psyched for Milwaukee? That's yeah, like, yeah, I can't Milwaukee. wait. That's <laughs> definitely like a rock and roll beer town. Yeah, you know? oh yeah. Go to the brewery. Milwaukee's a shithole. Hey, make right? sure let's, get, let's, get, let's yeah. get straight. It's a shithole, but but definitely wear like a hockey uniform or a hockey oh, jersey. Yeah, I know. Totally. And then go to the sports bar. Isn't that the cheese state? That's Wisconsin. It's, it's it's yeah. Milwaukee's in Wisconsin, Ben. <laughs> I know it's late, buddy. Wisconsin well, is America's no, 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 dairy no. land. It's not. It's not late. It's just that I've never actually left the confines of California. <laughs> Don't try to cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm geographically inept. I mean, listen. I spent half my life in Wisconsin. All right. Have you really? Yeah. Is that really where you're have. from? Well, partly. Yeah. He's from Wisconsin. That's right. Uh -huh. It's not the cheese, and let's just go and think straight. It's not the cheese state. It's America's dairy land. Oh, okay. Cheese is really? a byproduct of dairy of milk, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So is gas for um, apparently seventy percent uh, of the people are lactose intolerant in the United States. 
So I mean, that's also right. a byproduct. So what do we what do we got here on the web? <laughs> uh, you don't want to know about this one. No, they're just talking about gummo now. I don't know. Hey, what do you guys think about Gummo? I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen Gummo? It's, oh. it's, a, it's a great American flick. I, I'm really dying to go out and see that, but we're so busy. Just... Gummo? Yeah, it's about, all about, like, cat killing and um, life Shut in the Midwest. Shut up. You <laughs> seriously. No, right. seriously. It, it's life in the Midwest and they follow Tornadoes. This one kid who's just got the most deformed body you've ever seen. From a tornado, like, right? Like 12, yeah. And uh, they kill cats and sell them to like a Chinese restaurant. And I think. Personally, oh. personally, I'd like to talk about the deal. So you guys are on some some big record label, right? Have, have you heard about Nine Up and Inkblot? What we're offering? No. No. Well, uh, let me tell you something. No, no, I'm I'm quite serious here. I think you guys are hot, and. You know, there's a good buzz going around. Oh, and, 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 <laughs> and I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Inkblot, Inkblot, and Nine Up can build the rocket ship that can take you to the top. All right? Okay. Are you willing to take a chance? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, why not? Ben, tell him a little bit about it. Well, there's one thing. Uh, how do you feel about God? Second question, how do you feel about God in your life? I think God's pretty cool because he died for our sins, didn't he? Or is that... Is God and Jesus... No, God's actually only in a coma. It's Jesus and God that... Okay, I'm getting sacrilegious. I better stop. You already, you already answered that wrong because we're Jewish level. Yeah, there, there's the whole trinity. There's, you know. Right. You guys are going to hell. Um, there's actually one more question from the internet, and I think they're saying, why can't you ball like Michael Jordan? We can. You can? Are you Hooper? Yeah. White guys can't, white guys can't jump. Yeah, and they can't play bass either. That's what that's oh. Oh. <laughs> You're just proving that. You're just proving it every day. Every day. A better tomorrow. You're just proving it. So anyway, we'd like to thank you guys for, for coming out. A great set. Um, so, where, where are you guys going to be next? We're driving right now to Santa Barbara, and we have to be there at 8 in the morning. So. Oh, give me your subs. That's, that's not that far. It's not that far. Would you drive right now to Santa Barbara? Please? Totally. Listen, buddy. Let's go. Let's Listen, get in my buddy. car. We're driving to Santa you Barbara. You don't have shit to do tomorrow. <laughs> so you guys are doing Santa Barbara, then L.A.? Ben, Ventura. We Ventura. played in L.A. last Ventura. night. We played at the Opium Den. Where, where are you playing in, in Santa Barbara? We're, actually, we're playing at like a radio, a radio station thing. Going to a radio station. UCSB? No, it's not. It's I don't know the name of the KJEE -E or something. A college college station. It's not. I don't think that it's sounds cool. suspicious. Okay, so so uh, Santa Barbara, Ventura. <laughs> I'm just Ventura, and then we just don't know anything and, uh, about it. Phoenix next weekend, and then we go out on tour. We're heading towards the East Coast. So. Very cool. Very cool. Well, this good set, and again. thanks for coming. Oh, what do we got? Uh, someone wants you to say John's name because he's listening and he's your biggest fan. All right. Hey, John. <laughs> Actually, come on. Spice what up, up John? Where do you live? What do you wear? Yeah, what do you wear? Why don't you give John, John the stalker what he wants? Are you single? <laughs> Rick's single. <laughs> and he's horny. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, yeah. John, John, if you're out there, they'll, they'll be in Milwaukee, which is in Wisconsin, which I just actually learned tonight. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, if if you want them, did you think go there. State or what? Well, I actually, Honestly, I, 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 I thought it was Indian territory. It was the country. <laughs> I thought they had their own their own constitution and everything. They do probably. Right. Ask the guys from the Promise Ring. They're from there. Apparently, John works for Canadian Radio. Oh. Hi, right, what's up, John? Hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my>. <laughs> <laughs> You've been nabbed by K nab. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well thanks a lot guys. Thanks guys, good luck we to you. Appreciate it. you coming Thank you. Back. Thank you. Thanks guys. Good night. Nice. Fun. This is Ink Blood Magazine and Nine Up signing off for the night. We'll see you tomorrow night.